really hard actually to try and stop us getting out of our own half but of course one great crossfield ball by Charlie Colkett and we're causing all sorts of problems this is Musonda he's got to the byline and got his ball over and the keeper hasn't dealt with it and Loftus Cheeks header didn't carry enough power hacked away on the edge of the six yard box picked up by Jeremy Bogey you can see how blowy it is with the uh, leaves rushing across the pitch maybe won't affect Chelsea too much given as the ball doesn't tend to spend too much time in the air yeah it shouldn't bother them but you know it, it's, it's a mental thing you've got to make sure you just just switch off from the wind it's going to be there put up with it and get on with passing the ball about neatly like they do thank you warm yeah it's a decent looking cross as well again they haven't cleared it Charlie Misonda can he make space for a shot try to steer it back toward Brown instead look how many yellow shirts there are in the penalty area now Colkit couldn't quite win it Izzy Brown might be able to Maribor making uh, a bit of a mess of getting rid of that and then Ruben Loft to go is it's very di it's a difficult game for a centre forward to get involved but I think it's up to the speed in which we build it up get it into wide areas and then he'll find some space and does that rely on the same Misonda that he's playing in the 10 today getting close to Brown as and when he's able to well it's, it's about Charlie finding space if he can find some space same as Jeremy if they can find space then someone's got to be attracted to the ball and that will give is he, is he Brown a chance? It's Boga, 1-0. Didn't take long for the opening goal to arrive. Drilled into the, to the bottom corner by Jeremy Boga. His first goal of this season's UEFA Youth League. A fantastic effort from the edge of the box. And Chelsea, who've been knocking on the door, have finally managed to open it. Nice exchange of passes between Brown and Boga. Made space for the shot. No fault to the goalkeeper there. It was just a pure strike. It's great, great strike, isn't it? I mean, it's a wonderful finish from there. Very, very tight in there. Finds that little bit of space to get the shot away. And he's very, very accurate. He's not blasted this. He's sort of steered it with good pace, but steered it into that bottom corner. Lovely finish, just what the lads need. But also what we, what we were talking about with Izzy Brown. He can't keep playing with his back to the, to the defenders. There's too many of them. And he just moved off the line there, made the opportunity for the one-two, and all of a sudden, we scored. Now the floodgates might open. Here's Ruben Loftus cheek. Charlie Colkit for two. He'll be disappointed he didn't score. It's on his right foot. It's a bit of a swing. He doesn't quite get back on it, but if he leaves it for Alex Kawamu, he's in a much better position. I think this is a simple tapping. Ruben does really well, just gets past the last defender. There we see Alex Kawamu just behind him. Big shout from Alex. Probably would have secured a second goal. Charlie on his slightly weaker right foot. He's back in our court now. And We've just got to pick it back up again, Matt. We've lost our way a little bit for 10 minutes. We need to get the ball into wider areas for me. Alex Cormier just been isolated. They've been very tight in midfield, so Charlie and Jeremy Boger haven't had a great deal of possession. So we need to stretch them a little bit more. Ball's got to move quicker is the uh, instruction from the sideline. Some involvement for Kiwamia. Wakefield, this is a good run. And still Charlie Wakefield. Was it a cross? Was it a shot? The goalkeeper dealt with it. Yeah, he's done Less than 10 minutes of the first half remaining. Okay, looking to get it up and over the wall or maybe through that gap. Deflection, great save. Had to readjust very quickly there, three neg, and did well to turn it behind for another the corner. That's got good pace on it from Charlie, hasn't it? Looked like he was on target. Slight deflection. Goalkeeper does very, very well. Comes off the wall. Reaction save. I would uh, suggest that maybe he's not. Can Chelsea double their money here? Colkett had the last one. Miss on the hand on hips. Wants a crack at this. Charlie Musonda over the wall. Another good save. It was pretty much straight at Prineg, but it was really travelling from the boot of Musonda. It's behind for corner number seven of the first half for Chelsea. He's done really well here, Charlie, hasn't he? Difficult technique. Got it up and over the wall. Dipping under the crossbar. Yes, it's close to the keeper. And you would expect him to make the save. He does so. The technique, the quality from Charlie certainly was on show there. That sounds strange, but... The wind in your face, you tend to not you don't want to move the ball too quickly, you don't want to give it away. He's done ever so well here, Ola. Done brilliantly. Waiting for some support to arrive in the box. Saunders cross. Here we 
going to have an additional one minute at the end of the half. Slightly surprising given that both uh, Chiwamia and Samet before he went off were down for very length, fairly lengthy periods. Brown battling well. Boga. Boga again, it's the same combination, it's the same result. Bang on half time, Jeremy Boga doubles Chelsea's lead. Another fine strike from the Frenchman. It's Chelsea 2, Maribor 0. It's a wonderful strike, isn't it? Doesn't he get good power here? Short back lift. Good uh, link up play between him and Izzy. A little bit scruffy prior to that, but he finds that space that we keep saying that he needs to find Jeremy Boga, as, as do all the other players. Find that little bit of space and pull the trigger. What a super strike this is. No chance for the goalkeeper. Dips underneath his body. Fabulous finish and probably the goal we actually need. And maybe that goal has saved the lads from a, a little bit of a talking to at half time for Mady. Well, we go back to it again, Matt, all the time, time and time again. We keep saying, just because there's contact, does it mean you have to fall over? And that didn't mean to me that he, he needed to fall over just there, but he's won on the free kick. Grimek sends it in deep toward the back post. Thompson misjudged the flight of it slightly. No danger in the end, though. That was the chance for Hadrich. It came his way. That case would be a bit positive. Different to Charlie Masondu, he's just replaced and driving up the back line and trying to cause all sorts of problems. That's good to see. Brown. S similarities here with the seniors game at Crystal Palace on Saturday. Chelsea having all of the ball. Opponents showing no real ambition. Wakefield. Scoreline the same as well. Great run this from Charlie Wakefield. Kiwami having to work to keep it in. Stabs his cross up, but it's easy for Prineg to grab from under his crossbar. Oh, I think Charlie Wakefield should have had a shot here, Matt. He's got himself into a great position. Good run. A little bit of space. He's close enough. He's not that far from goal. Just hit. Get your head down. Strike the ball and hit the target. Really was a good opportunity for him. But in forcing the ball wide, he just gave Alex Kiwami too much to do. This is Kramaric. I wonder if Maribor might make a change soon. Chelsea have used two of the three available subs. Charlie Colkit. Casey Palmer. A real zip in his shot, easy for the goalkeeper to field. But there we see Casey taking the shot on where it's been a bit of a trudge, a bit of a one of those games where you just can't get yourself out of second gear. Maribor's th third corner is the best of the bunch, but it's sliced wide by Robert. Head in his hand. Saw the combination for both goals there. Brown plus Boga equals goals. Loftus cheek. Casey Palmer. Boga on the hat trick. Is this his moment? Oh, it nearly was. Just lifted it too high. You can see the look on his face, rubs his top, he knows that that's a chance. It's a good movement as well, and, and we can see what it, how important it is to get between the lines. The first pass sets this up. Casey Palmer gets into a good position between their back line and midfield. Good through ball, finds his feet, he turns, slides into Jeremy, who then left to do the rest. This time can't hit the target. minutes left. 2 0 here as Schalke continue to lead Sporting by the same goal. Here's Boga. And still, Jeremy Boga. Oh, he almost snapped the bar in two. That was outrageous. Brilliant, wasn't it? Absolutely brilliant. Off this cheek. Ball in towards Cole Kick. Goalkeeper's come and not got there. And his defender spared his blushes. Chance not gone yet. Kiwomya. Back toward the back post again. The goalkeeper's not decisive, but Boga couldn't quite stab his effort toward goal. Goodness, no. I suppose without him, maybe somebody else might have stepped up. But you have to say, disappointing performance, but a good result. And that's at the end is what we want at the points in the bag. Interesting to hear uh, any Vivash's post match thoughts. Positives and negatives to take from the game. But the key thing is the uh, score in the top left of your screen. Chelsea have never looked in 
danger of doing anything but win this game from the moment that Jeremy Boga put them a goal in front. And there is full time and Chelsea make it three wins from three in Group G of the UEFA Youth League. A pair of goals in the first half from Jeremy Boga got the job done. The first on 13 minutes and then a fine second right on the stroke of half time. So Chelsea stay top of the group. They've beaten Maribor here by two goals to nil.